Dear guests, dear viewers and participants around the world, I am pleased to welcome you to today's event, launch event of the Jena Declaration on Sustainability. Kadia Beer, Director of Communications of the Friedrich Schiller University of Jena, and I will guide you through the following two hours. It's a, my great pleasure that so many people from different fields accepted our invitation to join this event. And I'm particularly pleased that we could reach out beyond academia to include artists and young activists. To all of you, thank you so much for all that you have contributed to make this event possible. Your thoughts, ideas, and talents have enriched and will enrich the project in many ways. I'm grateful that you are willing to share them with us today. Six years ago, the United Nations agreed on a set of 17 Sustainable Development Goals that we have to achieve by 2020. We are a long way from achieving them, and all of the reasons for that is too much focus on top-down technological approaches. Almost a year ago, I sat exactly here with my colleagues, and we discussed why we are in this predicament, and what is necessary to do to overcome today unsustainable development. Everybody agreed that we need a radical change in strategy, a change from top-down to bottom-up approaches. If we want to reach sustainable or global sustainability, then each and every one of us must be engaged in its pursuit. We need to change our minds, our visions, and our aspirations. This is what the Jena Declaration is about. During this launch, we will explore ideas on how, on how to bring about change from grassroots level. Today, we are focusing on the power of the arts to change minds and to mobilize people. There will be presentations by artists, by colleagues from academia, and young activists, all contributing to a new understanding of today's challenges. This was not just only a snappy start of our event, but also a great illustration of how music can move an idea or a social project forward. Or in the words of Nelson Mandela, when I'm listening to music and when I'm dancing, I'm at ease with the world and also with myself. This quote brings me to mind, brings to mind the spirit of the Jena Declaration. The power of the arts is something that can give us new ways of connecting with the world, of understanding ourselves and our place in the world. This is at the very heart of the Jena Declaration. Please allow me now to introduce you briefly to the project with its key, element, key elements. There are seven principles or seven cornerstones, if you will. The first one is a very simple one, but at the same time often forgotten. It is the insight that sustainability is about more than ecology. Much of today's thinking about sustainability is rooted in the idea that the human and the natural sphere are somehow opposed, that nature is simply our environment. But the opposite is true. With our bodies, we are part of nature. And the way we understand and transform nature then depends on our cultural backgrounds. Therefore, sustainability is in fact about us as part of nature, not about simply managing ecosystems or the environment. The second cornerstone is the idea that true change to sustainability can only be achieved if people begin to change their everyday routines and practices. Sustainability is more than just a fashion. It is, in fact, a mindset, something that enables us to live sustainably. Here, especially, the voice of arts can make a powerful contribution in the form I just mentioned, establishing new ways of connecting with the world to find sustainable solutions for everyday problems in most diverse contexts. This idea leads directly to the third cornerstone. It is about the deficits of uh, top-down approaches. 
If you have ever bought a one-size-fits-all shirt, you may know that one size only rarely fits all. The same holds for solutions to achieve sustainability. Top-down approaches that prescribe solutions for everyone hardly succeed. Instead, we need to find solutions that fit the specific conditions in different contexts. Or more precisely, we need to empower people to develop such solutions themselves. As a direct consequence of this, we can say as a fourth principle, cultural and regional diversity shall be the starting point of any sustainability strategy. Everything, everything people do, and, and everybody is doing every time, is locally emplaced, historically situated, and culturally embedded. It's difficult to convince people to make their lives more sustainable if the proposition doesn't find even the slightest anchor in their everyday world. So, successful sustainability strategies need to embrace cultural and regional differences instead of ignoring the richness of our world and homogenizing humanity. The fifth principle brings us back to the beginning of our meeting and Andy Innes' contribution. It is about the role of arts and of humanistic and social research. As I have said before, the arts open up new horizons. They can design in advance a different world. Likewise, the social sciences and humanities help us understand the social and cultural dimensions of the current transformation and get us away from a first aid solutionism. The Jena Declaration argues that arts and social and humanistic research are key for making living sustainably not only possible, but even enjoyed by everyone. The sixth cornerstone highlights that the true bottom-up strategy involves a change of our ways of producing and applying knowledge. Many sustainability policies try to teach and tell others how to do things properly, without knowing their cultural context, without respecting their expertise. We are convinced that robust solutions must be developed together and that there is a great potential for collaborative co-production of new knowledge. The basis for this is mutual learning, learning from each other. To hold these six cornerstones together and make this new home of sustainability livable, we need a roof, or to remain in the picture, a cover stone. This is the seventh principle. It calls for civic engagement. Real button policies enable the use, to use the focus and creativity of generations, of all generations, but especially of the young members of our global community. To make this engagement more effective, we want to develop a global platform to facilitate concerted action by people around the world, whether they are researchers, teachers, or concerned citizens. These are, in a nutshell, the seven key principles of the Jena Declaration. The Jena Declaration is an invitation to make sustainable development happen at our own doorstep to mobilize people around the planet and to enable fruitful outcomes of their engagements. Thank you for listening.